Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of your boy Holmes and my guy Spriggsy and on today's one we're going to be talking about Eric Lamella and how he's the last of the seven. The last of the seven. <laughs> the famous seven. Go on then. Um, before we start, let's see, roll off the names that were there. So we got Chadley. Master Chadley, yeah. We got top mayor, Vlad Kirikes. Yeah. Paulinho. Yeah. Christian Eriksen. Yeah. Roberto Sardado. Yeah. Have I said Chadley? Yeah, yeah, and Eric Lamella. Uh, Capu. Yeah. Those are the... There was a slight, and then there was that, because Lamella as well. I might have missed someone there. I might have said someone twice, but... <laughs> no, no, you, you, said, you said them all there. But, um... How did you think, obviously, you'd be a Spurs fan back then, that, that 2013, that summer, seeing those seven players in? You must have been gassed. Well, yeah, mate, I bought that shirt early, because I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I thought... I thought, this is it! This yeah. is it, boys! We've done it! 85 million! On a bunch of rap. That just that yeah just showed that you can't just buy a mix of decent players like from where they were decent. And yeah. Hope them to be good now. Like yeah, in, nah. in a team together. If, like, don't get me wrong. I mean, at least for the names, Christian Eriksen always was dead certain. Soldado, to be fair, I thought was going to be a dead certain. I thought. Yeah, was... I, I would say it would have been at least decent enough to be like Giroud level. And Eric Lamella what I saw of him was pretty decent. Yeah, and then Paulinho. Paulinho looked like he had a little bit in him. He, he was alright. I didn't, He wasn't one I was like buzzing about. I actually thought he was one of the better ones. Yeah. It's not saying much, but he was He was one of the better ones. Yeah, and it just, just goes to say that like we picked four on paper out of the seven that were like, yeah, decent signings. But then only Ericsson really performed since then, and then Lamella... Yeah, Lamella late. hasn't really like... Still now... So obviously, I think it's his injuries as well. Yeah. Crap. He's got a lot of energy, and he actually, I think he really likes Tottenham. To be fair, so every yeah. time he comes on, he'll like play for the badge. But mm. yeah, Ericsson was the one that I think he exceeded. Yeah, he definitely yeah. exceeded expectations. Like I was saying for years before you. I remember he's linked him. with Liverpool the time. Oh my god! The amount of times I wanted Liverpool to sign him from Ajax, I was like, but sign him, him, only sign eighty-five him, sign mil. Him. Yeah. But like now you would even those players you wouldn't get that now. No. <laughs> yeah, we if we're talking about just say Polino, did Polino go from um the Chinese league and then he went to, to Barca. Barca for forty million euros alone. He's <laughs> like, actually doing alright for Barca as well, it was annoying. Yeah. Yeah, he actually was because he's like considered one of your biggest flops, isn't he? I just remember like going into that after that Arsenal, there's only like four games in and I was like, Oh, we're gonna whack you like blah blah blah, <laughs> we've got this team, blah blah blah. Yeah. And I think we drew to them that game. No, maybe lost two one. And it was just fucking humiliating the whole way through the <laughs> process. And I, I remember the last draw, because Villa Spurs was our manager and we lost five 0 at home to Liverpool. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. John Flanagan fucking scored. Do you know what I mean? And I was there like, nah, this is bad. Well I knew it was bad before, but that, that game because then he got sacked after that, because that was a game where I was like, this is the worst I've ever seen us play. Oh and yeah. And we've had the likes of like Gary Doherty. Christian Ziga. Here we go. Who actually did Ziga credit? He wasn't that bad actually. Yeah. <laughs> but Gary Dirty he was. Yeah. Well they obviously next one I mean with Nasser Chadley. Yeah, that like, he actually did alright. Yeah, but I, I actually like, still one of those bit pop players. He was, yeah, he kinda came on. He was, yeah. He's like David Carigi, who'd come on and score. Yeah. We always do I actually was quite surprised we got rid of him to be honest. Because he was a good bench player. And yeah. He didn't true. mind doing that. That's true. He, he had his he had his moments in his spells, but like, yeah, he's just someone. I that... so I actually rated him. Thought he was decent, just not decent enough to start. If you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so. that's true. No, so obviously, well, Soldado. I mean, he came. He with, was the he one, one that like hurt the most. He was the one that hurt the most. I was like, no one, and no one could have told you that he'd flop that hard. No, he could only score in Europa League. Did it, wasn't it like his first two seasons or something? He scored nine goals and eight of them were penos or something. Yeah, the first goal was a penno as well. The <laughs> thing is, what was lucky about him, oh, the Spurs fans like him, is because he he still watches us now and he like apologises for like the way he played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like he knew that he wasn't at his best and you can sort of respect that and that's why Spurs fans still likes, they like him. It's just crazy to think that like, like I was just saying a minute ago, he got 40 plus goals in La Liga. Like, he was... Hitting the likes of Messi and Ronaldo stats back in 2015 yeah, when they were Real fucking Madrid amazing. As well. like, it's not like he hasn't. I'm not saying Spurs are a big club, but like he's been at clubs where you're expected. Yeah. To do stuff. 
It's, uh, he was, yeah, he was definitely a shocker. <laughs> uh, Etienne Capu. Bog standard, isn't he, really? Yeah, average. Man. He's all right. Mid, mid table team. Like, yeah. yeah. I didn't really expect much of him. Same, neither did I, neither did I. And same goes for the next player, Vlad Kirikas as well. I mean... <laughs> he actually went to Napoli, didn't he? Yeah, he did, he did alright there for a bit, to be but fair. But he's there, got a mistake in him, that's his problem. Yeah. Oh, and he was crap. He was crap for us. Exactly. It was great. I mean, and it just shows that, like... From what they were on paper when you signed them to how their careers went for Tottenham, it's unbelievable to be honest. <laughs> it's Joe no, I just think like bring back the Arsenal game. They didn't. Those Arsenal players, they knew what that derby meant. Yeah. But these guys didn't at all. Yeah. They, they didn't know what it meant. Like they weren't. It wasn't like a fan. Like as a fan, you. Well, that's the one game. And they'll tell you that as well. Arsenal. They'll tell you the one game you want to win. Yeah, you want to win that one, and they, I don't think they knew what that meant really. Well, so I don't blame them. They have no reason to. Yeah, they're all foreign players. Like, how are they going to know North London derby? Like, yeah, it's one of those. Did you expect Eric Lamella to be the last man standing? No, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Yeah, I would have. I mean, it looks weird now looking back at that. I was saying that now. Now, obviously, I can see why. But back then, no. Like, I mean, obviously, last well, the summer just gone. You got rid of Christian Eriksen, but like I would no, have, went, I would uh, have kept went, him. Um, January, oh, January, yeah. 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 Um, I would have kept him as like the one who would probably have lasted the longest. He stayed a lot longer than I thought he would. I mean, we should let him go any in the summer. Yeah, you would, would have made some money off him. It's not even about the money. Dream. I just think it's just annoying to make someone suffer that long. If they yeah. want to go, like if they want to go, he's done enough for us, and just let him go. If he wanted to go, go. You can't. I think it might have been the thing that ruined the dressing room, just seeing players just want to leave. Like, yeah, so, that's true. Should just go. Should show people you can't just can do what you want. Basically, just say if you we don't, you got to make them feel like they're not. You can replace them because mm -hmm. we haven't replaced them, but you got to no. make people feel like they are replaceable. You can't. Yeah, no one's bigger than a club, and no, like, whatever okay, club it is. So, even if you're like lower down in the tables, maybe you have case to say you should be playing for a better team but like yeah, you can't. no player is bigger than a club I'm, I'm sorry no like no. <laughs> even if you're playing way, for so. even if you're playing for like Aston Villa or Norwich City and you're you deserve to be playing for one of the big teams in Europe you're still not bigger than that club you no. might be better ability than what the club is, is playing representing at, at the moment yeah but you're yeah. not bigger than I fully club. agree so obviously Lamella uh this interview came out, I was like, honestly, I did not think I would stay here this many years, but now I feel very good, I'm enjoying it, I feel motivated, and I feel part of the team here, I love the people, the training ground, I'm almost one of the longest players to be here. Like I said, a good squad player, like, we need people that, we need more of them, we can't, like I think Mourinho said in the interview, you can't just have a first 11, yeah. like, which we've had for years, like you've got, like you said about, uh, every time Don Belly doesn't come on, always gets questioned about it, doesn't he? Like yeah. Constantly, constantly. And then he goes, brought out wise Pep never get asked about Jesus. He scored over 20 plus goals this season. No one ever asked him why he's not coming on. Yeah. It's because they're known for having squads. Like we need to be, that's where we need to push is to have exactly. a squad, not like have people get, cry about sitting on the bench. Yeah. If you're sitting on the bench and you're crying, prove yourself you can come on. Yeah. And and I think Endobele like... is actually decent. But yeah. obviously there's something we don't see everything every day, so there's something yeah, wrong yeah. with him clearly. Why would why would someone not want to play their best players? Yeah, and like <laughs> I see the rumours flying about everywhere. Barcelona wanted him in January, been hearing rumours that Bayern Munich wanted him now in the summer, like he's still getting links, but he's not getting game time. Mm. Clearly there's something here, something that ain't as well, so it's like with you um Danny Sturridge, like Oh, yeah. like people are the wise not playing with him. He sees this guy every day. There's clearly something that wasn't working for him. Yeah. I don't know why anyone ever tries to pick out stuff like that. It probably pisses me. It's one thing that pisses me off. It actually yeah. really makes me angry. Why yeah. is he not playing? Why is he not playing? Shut up, mate. <laughs> Honestly, shut up. He's yeah. in the job he is for a reason and you're sat on your sofa moaning about it. Exactly, exactly. But uh, yeah, I think anyway with Eric Lamella, he's... He'll go down as like one of your, not legends, but you know, one of those players you look back on fondly. Yeah, I don't think he'll be any like, like I say, he hasn't done anything like, probably the most famous thing he's done for that like, Rabona in the Open League is probably the yeah. 
But yeah, he won't. He'll be someone I look back and go, oh, he was alright. I mean, I mean, he's still got time to do something, so football's a game of moments, so. Yeah, that's very true. Oh well, yeah, that'll finish that one off. That's another yeah. episode of uh, Thanks Next Sport. Please like, subscribe, guys, and see what you think about that deadly seven. <laughs> or Eric Lamella himself. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Football is life.